And, uh, Mike, we've been talking about this just to put this into perspective. We averaged like 11 inches of snow for the entire month of January. We've already surpassed that in the first four days. Yeah, this storm has been so full of moisture that it's really kind of unusual for this time of year to be getting this type of storm. Part of our next weather promise is to not only tell you what's coming, but to put it into context. And let's do that. Let's talk about uh, this storm by the numbers first. This has been the biggest single storm snowfall since April of 2018. We have gotten more moisture if you melt down all that snow and the little bit of sleet that fell on the Twin Cities. More moisture in the past two days than we get in an entire average January. And this is also the deepest snowpack, the most snow cover in the Twin Cities since March of 2019. And the reason why is because of a pretty unusual storm. Every day, twice a day, we measure how much moisture is in the atmosphere by sending a weather balloon up into space. And so we can actually quantify just how different this storm was. What happened was we had a direct feed of moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico and some Pacific moisture uh, from big time flooding rains across coastal California that sort of ganged up right here over the Twin Cities, giving us a record amount of moisture in the atmosphere yesterday morning. And that was all wrung out as snow. That is again at 12 inches and counting and we're not totally done yet, Frank and Amelia. Well, you know, Mike, people will see those numbers and of course they're going to wonder what it means for the drought. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking that. I yeah. understand why. And here's the answer. Right now, if all that snow were to melt, it would be like pouring water onto a tabletop. It's just going to run off. The ground is frozen. So the truth is this helps certainly to have this much snow cover on the ground. But if it doesn't melt in exactly the right way in the spring, meaning not so fast that we get flooding mm -hmm. and not so slow that it evaporates or goes away, uh, we won't know until we know how that plays out what impact this will have on the drought. So we've just sort of got to wait and see. Sounds like it. All right. Thank you, Mike. Mm -hmm.